Hey beautiful, it's Miss Nikki from Married Mom and Mogul and I wanted to share with you today my luxurious lifestyle planner. I am so excited to share this with you. I have been wanting this planner for way too long and it, I got it. Now, I have been hearing that um, when they come in stock, they sell out very quickly. So when you see it, you can uh, look for Arnita Johnson Hall or the Luxurious Lifestyle Planner on Instagram and you'll be able to uh, keep up with when a new planner is going to be released. So you see how it comes in this beautiful box. I love beautiful packaging. So let's see. Oh, isn't this gorgeous? So it is in this bubble wrap to protect it in a nice box. Cheers to planning your luxurious lifestyle. Luxuriouscredit.com. That's a, one of her companies. I guess that this was actually based off of. And it, I'll get to the premise of this. The actual planner is for handling your money, handling your budget, handling your credit. Now check out this beautiful elastic to keep this closed. I'm loving that. It is a hard cover. It has these beautiful metal edging protectors. I love those. They can be a little sharp, but um, I've never had a problem out of any of my planners that have had those. So I'll let you know if this one seems to be a problem. I like the coil rings on there. I am loving this planner. You can see about how thick it is. And this planner, this one is in a soft pink, but it also comes in like a teal, a fuchsia, purple, orange, and a yellow as well. Now it, I think the normal price is $55, but if you keep up with her on Instagram, you may be able to catch a coupon or when it goes on sale or something. So it opens up to this nice letter from the owner and creator, Arnita Johnson Hall. She began to live the luxurious life she dreamed of. Here's for your luxurious vision. You can create your own vision board here. Luxurious goals, this year's goals. And here are interferences and delays, action and execution, luxurious manifestation. It's a perfect like um, foundation for you to start your year, start your journey of taking control of your money. Let's see. Here are just some affirmations. And it looks like each one of these, I think I've seen this, it's okay. So each section begins with a nice quote. So this one says, I can't wait till I can afford to be who I actually am. That's cute. Spending triggers. And you have all this space to answer all these questions. I would suggest taking some time and actually thinking about your answers and writing them down. I know so many times I'll get a planner and they'll have all these beginning pages. And I will not take the time to fill out all the things. Even if I read through them, I don't actually fill it out. But for a planner like this, for it to actually work, I do suggest taking your time and filling it out. I am going to do that with this one. Financial and motivational books I will read this year. Knowledge is wealth. List the book titles you plan to read this year. I, I'm an avid reader, so I probably will go ahead and I might even get a little creative and see if I can <laughs> draw some of these books. I can't draw, but I will, I'll, I'll attempt. It's my planner. It's okay. It doesn't matter what it looks like. 
From this day forward, I will tell my money where to go instead of wondering where it went. That's pretty good. Fixed expenses. Debt to income ratio worksheet. Now I am really feeling this and she left some space here in case there are some other things. And I'm thinking here is probably where you would wanna put more of your revolving expenses or revolving debts. I would say put them over here with these. And let's look through because I believe you can repeat this throughout this plan. Budgeting, here's the 50, 20, 30 rule which I do think that if you really put your mind to it, it won't be as hard as you would believe to stick to this. Here's a budget worksheet for paycheck one, two, three, four other incomes. And off the top, these are the things that you should be taking out of your paycheck or out of your income before you start to even pay bills. You should take care of these things first. If you tithe or if you save, I, I do believe that it does, um, it comes back. You get that money back. It's almost like an investment in yourself. When you put that money out into, so many people say out into the atmosphere or out into the universe, but when you give, you will receive. And, and that's scripture. But let's keep going. Cash envelopes. Now she does have a cash envelope system. I don't use a cash envelope system, although I do like having my money broken down by categories, but I'm not really cash. I don't really deal with a lot of cash anymore. So um, I don't use the actual envelope, but I do suggest you breaking down your money in these categories. And if you are able to do cash, then I think you should. It will help. I've seen many people become successful with that. So expenses, totals, monthly expenses. Hopefully you do not have enough expenses to cover up all of this. But if you do, here is a place for you to put the month and fill this all out. And let's see, is that for one month? I'm thinking this is for one month. You should not need more than this here. But again, this book is for taking care of your money. So if that is the case, and that is something you wanna um, make sure that you are keeping track of, then this may just be the planner for you. Debt-free worksheet, creditor, total balance, due date, amount due, amount paid, remaining balance. So it's all laid out here. All you have to do is fill it in. Start where you are. Save a little and watch your seed grow. It doesn't matter if you make $300, $3,000, or even $30,000 per month. If you aren't saving money when you make a little, you'll never have the discipline to save when you make a lot. Oh, that is so true. So here is best, best practice. Remember why you started. And here is that um, luxurious credit 26-week money challenge. So I hope that you'll be able to see all of this here. But I have a few people in my circle that do a challenge similar to this if it's not this exact one. And in the end of 26 weeks, so that's just in six months. So in 26 weeks, you'll be able to have $1,053 successfully saved if you stick to this tracker. And then I would suggest just you know, do it again, start over, or, you know, increase the amount. But I would say just start over. And by this time, you'll be disciplined enough to go ahead and do it. Luxurious savings, spend less, save more. Here's your start date, savings goal, savings goal amount. Savings goal and savings goal amount. I'm not really sure which what you would put in both of these, maybe like um, for a small amount of time and an overall, an overall savings goal. Here's another one. Shout out to the girl who chose to stay in tonight so that she could save money, work on her credit, manage her budget, and create strategy to get out of debt. The sacrifice will pay off due to you being responsible and disciplined. So I'm not gonna read all of these. I did just wanna get us started until the first month view. So here is where your month can be laid out. This planner is undated. 
So I would suggest you grabbing even a Happy Planner sticker book, um, the memory keeping. I know for sure it has the dates in there. You can just date it. I personally like my Saturday and Sunday to be together next to each other. But as a true planner, I have date covers. So if I if this bothered me, I could just cover these days and make it Monday through Sunday how I like it. And the way this is set up with five days here and two days here, I probably would do that. Here are your goals or your must-do list. It's plenty of room here to set your goals and I like how wide the column is so you can actually get some information there. You can fill in the month. There, there's even a sticker for that. And I believe she has stickers as well if you wanted to purchase some from her. And I think there's one bundle that it may come with it. Here's your monthly bill organizer, pay, due date, amount due, amount paid, and method of payment. Luxurious thought. I was think I would think that this would be good for any like brain dumping. Luxurious monthly meal planner. Now, for those that don't meal plan, I suggest you do. Meal planning is definitely a way to be in control of your grocery budget. Because for one, you're able to not spend in excess. So you will be able to buy what you need versus what you think you want, what you may feel like cooking. If you plan on the meals, then it will actually save your budget, save money in your budget. Now, the other thing that I have started doing is ordering my groceries. So if I set my budget for $300, $350, which well, seems like it is most months, $350, I can go in and say, okay, in the next two weeks, we're gonna eat these things. And then I can see what I have on hand, then order my groceries for the things that I need, the staples that need to be, re be replenished, and I'm able to control what's in my cart because it's calculated it as I'm adding stuff online. So when I get to usually like $400 by the time I pay attention, I can then go back and see, okay, now what kind of junk have I or my family been throwing in my online cart? And I'm able to go back and start taking out the cookies and all of the things that we really don't need and stick to the meal plan, some of the snacks, and some of the goodies, but not everything that we think we want, everything that somebody had a commercial about or what have you. But that's just a, just a sidebar. So if you wanna use this part, I think that would be a good way to use this section. And here is your grocery shopping list, this week's meal plan, your weekly budget and amount spent. Now, here's Let's Talk Credit. Wait, I am trying to see because this is looking like that is the end of the month, but this has this week's meal plan. So, this is not enough. <laughs> I'm looking at, this is the meal plan for the month. This is week one through four, but then you only have one sheet here for a meal plan. And I believe, you should probably use an additional planner. Now I'm already seeing that this is focusing on your money. So if you are planning on keeping up with this or doing like a, a separate meal plan, this sheet actually wouldn't be what you need. You would need this sheet. So I'm thinking that this will be fine. This would actually work. You would be able to do both things. But then this week's meal plan is actually what you would need to actually figure this out somewhere else in addition to this page. I hope that makes sense. Okay, monthly credit scores. This is Experian, TransUnion, Equifax. So if you're trying to um, increase your credit score, this is where you would track that. Dispute calendar. So if there's any um, thing on your credit that you are trying to dispute, this is where you would track that as well. And this is a whole month's calendar that you would have to date as well to keep up with that. So I think that's an added bonus to have an additional calendar here. So if you notice for this month, you've actually gotten three calendars. You have 
your regular, your full month view. Then you have your calendar for the meal planning for the month. And do notice it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner covered here. And then again, another calendar for disputing anything on your credit. Itemized dispute. So when you're talking to somebody, I guess you would need to record that information here. You have two pages of that. Journal your journey. Tell yourself something today that will help you live a better tomorrow. And here are your finance tips. Create a budget and stick to it. So for finance tips, I don't know if I would use this many pages of that. But this is still a good place to keep track of some things that will help help you stick to your journey. It could be um, your affirmations. It could be some bill that's coming up. It doesn't actually have to be tips. It could actually be things that have to be taken care of in the future. I would probably use this section for that. And there's more. Don't let a rich heart cause you to have poor pockets. No, that's right. So here we are starting the month again. So that is a complete month. You have a year's worth. Let me see. I'll show you each one of these. I won't read all of these, but I will show them to you. And I'm seeing that since all of these are undated, one of the problems, that most people have with a planner is that they don't stick with it. So, if this is not your only planner, your main planner, you don't have to be, feel bad about the investment. What did I tell you? It's like $55 for this planner. If you don't use it one month, you don't have to be so hard on yourself and you don't have to throw away your planner because you can just pick up where you left off. Just start over next month. You didn't do well recording everything this month. Just start over again next month. You're keeping track of all the days. You're dating it. Date it as you need it. Let's see. I think we're almost at the end. This planner is beautiful. So if you don't do much planning and with the stickers and you don't need a daily planner or anything like that, you could very well use this as your everything planner because there's enough room on your main month view to keep track of everything that's going on. You really could. I would say if you wanted to have one planner or you wanted to reduce the amount of planners, I would probably have this one paper planner and then I would use my phone or another digital planner to go along with it. But this is a beautiful planner. I'm so glad that I made the investment when I did. And here's an, a pocket here. I hadn't noticed there's a pocket here. Was there a pocket in the front? No, we have the letter in the front. So then you have a pocket here in the back, which I would say is perfect for when you are getting information, if you are trying to build your credit or if you're having letters from a creditor or anything that you need to refer to later or hold on to, this would be a perfect spot. I can't quite get my fingernail in there, but it is a nice pocket right there. And here is a beautiful ribbon marker. It's a bookmark to help you keep your place where you are in the planner. And that is it. That is your luxurious lifestyle planner. And what she is saying is that when you are using this planner, you will be able to create or plan out the life that you are envisioning. And I'm here for it. I love it. And for those that didn't notice, this is a black owned company. And she is, let me see, I saw the, Okay, luxuriouscredit.com. She is also a, um, she has a credit building firm or credit for credit help and if you need credit repair, things like that. She can also help you with that. I would suggest that you look for her on Instagram if you wanted to purchase this planner or get some help with any of those things. 
So that is all. Thank you so much for joining me to check out the Luxurious Lifestyle Planner. I do think I'm going to be using this for my 2021 planning. And I will see how I'm going to incorporate this with the rest of my planning system. So since that is all, if you like this video, please go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos from me, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Until next time, remember to be beautiful because somebody's watching you.